And then whenever you're ready, you can make your way onto your back. If you have a wall, feel free to have your legs up the wall. If you have a chair, you can put your legs up on the chair. Really giving yourself these last few minutes here in this guided relaxation, this yoga nidra. Just to rest very deeply and to allow yourself to integrate all of that work that you've done in your body and to start to put it inside of your mind, inside of your psyche, which is really why we practice yoga. There are so many different ways of finding enlightenment, right? <laughs> of waking up, of liberating our soul, liberating ourselves from the prisons of our education, our beliefs, our attachment to this three-dimensional reality and the systems around us. One way of doing them is what you've been doing for the last hour and 15 minutes, right? It is really playing with the body, opening up the avenues inside of the body so that you can start to get some insights and reprogram your mind, your psyche. And then there are hundreds of other ways of achieving yoga, liberation. But the beautiful thing about this particular way of doing it, using hatha yoga, using the physical body, is that the body doesn't lie. And the body takes a lot of time to change right? It is so dense, it is so yin, that it takes so much repetition, so much coming back to the postures again and again and again, that once you do the change, you've done it for good. You know, it will take so much more time to go back to the state that you were in before. So that's really the magic of a physical practice and really the beauty of bringing the theory on top of it, bringing the intellect, bringing the mind, really gives it this very, very embodied experience. So now give yourself the last few seconds of completely relaxing the physical body. Let your toes relax towards the sides. Let your shoulder blades be underneath you, allowing your lungs to be available and open. And then open your mouth, stick your tongue out, make a sound. Ha! <sighs> and then close your mouth. Give yourself a nice swallow. Let your teeth be relaxed. Let your eyes be relaxed. You can close them completely. And then you can start to bring all of your awareness to the points of contact between your physical body and the surface underneath. Start to feel your heels touching the floor or the surface, the backs of your legs, the pelvis making contacts, the torso, the back, the shoulders, the backs of the arms. Feel the back of your head resting as well. And then notice if there's any place in your body that is trying to move upwards towards the sky. And give it permission to rest and move downwards towards the earth. Every exhale is an opportunity to release, to let go, to trust. and to become one with the force of gravity. Now keep a piece of you present. This is your awareness. And let your awareness move in the back of your head, right where you're making contact with the floor behind you. 
Use your imagination to rest your awareness right in the back of your brain. As if you're sitting in the back row of your own movie theater, your home theater in your house, private, cozy, on your favorite couch, right in the back of your brain. And then notice that in front of you is the inside of your forehead, your screen of consciousness. It's this big area from the right eyebrow to the left eyebrow, your control center, where everything starts, everything is played out, and everything can end as well there. So now you can bring your awareness to the left side of the screen, right behind your left eye, remembering your vision, your dream, your intention. And maybe making it a little bit more vivid. So use your imagination to create a scene from your vision Just keep on imagining it. How would it look like? How would it feel like? And let yourself be amused by the process. Do it in a very relaxed way, playful way, like a kid creating a story right around your left eye. Beautiful. Now shift your awareness to your right eye, the right side of your screen, and take a rest there. And now you can allow a memory from your childhood to arise, a memory from your childhood. Let it come. Try not to go look for it. Try not to control it. Let a memory show up and allow yourself to watch it. to experience it in your body, keeping yourself relaxed. Beautiful. And now put yourself right in the middle, right around the center of your eyebrows, around your third eye, the eye of the sky. And start to notice that on your left is a future version of you your potential, your vision. And on your right side is a kid version of you, a child, a memory, the past. And then can you stay in the middle, right in between, enjoying this place where you can have access to both? holding space for the kids while you look at your future. And then remembering the bright future every time you look at your kids. Keep finding this middle ground right in the middle this place of comfort where you have access to both. So nice. Now take your awareness and drop it down to the center of your chest, to the sternum area. And start to send your next few breaths around the center of the chest. right in the middle, in between your liver and your heart, between your left armpit and your right armpit. Every time you inhale, you can imagine yourself expanding from the center out to the extremities of your body. And every time you exhale, you can imagine yourself letting go 
and watching the exhale move back towards the middle. Every inhale, you can expand, reaching your fingertips, your toes, the crown of your head. And every exhale, you can concentrate, going back and finding your center right in the middle. Every inhale, you can radiate out, just like the sun. And every exhale, you can reflect back in, just like the moon. Continue playing with your in-breath and out-breath, your expansion, your contraction, your center, your circumference. Very nice. Now bring your awareness to the center of your eyebrows once again. This place where you find your middle, you find your balance. Let go of anything that might be on the screen. Let go of your vision. Let go of your memory, the child. Let the screen be blank. And now get ready to play a very fun little game of rapid visualizations. Every time you hear a word, you can imagine it in the center of your screen. You can allow any emotion to come with it. You can construct a vision for it, an image. Or you can just see the words in letters. Imagining the letters. We'll be moving pretty fast, so try not to get attached to a specific word. And keep yourself relaxed. Relax in the back of your brain. Look at your screen. And imagine a fireplace right in the middle. A fireplace in the middle of your screen. A tennis ball a yogi in meditation, a dictator, a queen, a slave, a birthday cake, Santa Claus, Jesus Christ, a mosque, a mountain, a volcano, a cloud, a red apple, a blue balloon, a banana, a desert island, a wedding, a funeral, a bed, a child, a mother, a father, a president. Imagine yourself. Imagine yourself. Imagine yourself. Very good. Now you can slowly begin to open your ears, welcoming the sounds around you, keeping yourself relaxed in the center of your own creation, your own sphere. And then you can bend your elbows and put your hands on top of your chest. Maybe finding the liver underneath the right hand and the heart underneath the left hand.
And then you can start to stretch yourself, extending your arms over your head, pointing your toes down. If you need to stay for longer in your Shavasana, you can. But then if you'd like to close the practice, you can give yourself a nice stretch and then roll to one side. And lift yourself up, find a seat. Elevate your seat onto a block or a blanket. You can cross your legs. You can find Virasana, the pose of the hero. Try to keep your eyes heavy or maybe closed. Getting a deeper sense, a stronger taste of what relaxation is, what it means to have the nervous system completely safe, completely supported. and how powerful our brains are in assisting us in finding relaxation. It sounds like a paradox, right? You want to let go of the brain to relax, but you can actually use the brain to relax instead of using the brain to create tragedies. <laughs> it sounds very simple, but it is a huge realization as well, at least for me. Once you find yourself in your seat here, you can stay on your back as well. You can start to organize yourself one last time. Let's use the magic square that we used a few times during the practice today. So one, you can drop down, inhale down to your perineum, see yourself landing inside of, the, of your body, your capsule. Two, exhale and move up behind your right eye. React to it, set a goal for yourself, maybe remember something. Inhale, three, go behind your back, find your heart on the left side and turn your heart a little bit to the right where it wants to sting, where it wants to sing, where it wants to thrive. And then exhale, lift your awareness up to your left eye, to your vision, to this beautiful place where you planted, watered your seeds. Inhale five, find the center of your chest, rest there. This is you in the center of your practice, the center of your being. And then exhale, shoot it out, out through the right leg. See yourself stepping out into the world, making your vision a reality. And then inhale, up seven, your right armpit, your liver. Feel it, fill it. See yourself making a deal with yourself to continue making this vision a reality. And then exhale, go behind your back, find your left foot, plug it down, ground yourself, make sure you have a nice grip on reality even though you have achieved your vision. And then from this root, rise up to your third eye, inhale, find your achievement, the pinnacle of everything, the beautiful work, the beautiful cycle that you have created. And then exhale, 10, shoot it out through the crown of your head and surround yourself with your breath. Every time you inhale, inhale from the perineum up to the crown through your central channel. And every time you exhale, let it explode over your head like a fountain. Inhale through the middle and exhale out your circumference. Bring your hands in a prayer in the center of your chest. Take a moment to notice how you feel after playing with your body, your breath and your imagination. Bring your thumbs to your lips. Give yourself a kiss, a big thanks for playing the game, for giving yourself the time to be on your mat, to get to know yourself, to become a better, happier person. And then bring your thumbs to your forehead and bow your head down towards your chest and down towards your planet. Namaste.